Welcome everyone, welcome again. It's Osaze and Osaze's Corner. I have a fragrance that I should have reviewed a while ago, so I don't know why I haven't up till now. This is one of my favorite fragrances of, I wanna say all time, top 10, top seven, however you wanna call it. It's one of the fragrances that I like to go to on specific occasions, so stay tuned. Before we get into the video, if you are a returning viewer, you're a returning subscriber, thank you. I appreciate your support. I appreciate taking the time out of your day to listen to me yap about fragrances. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. If you haven't subscribed and you're new, please hit the subscribe button below if you enjoy me um, bringing you fragrance content for fragrances that are not highly reviewed but are worth your time. That's what I do here. I try to bring fragrances that are outside of the main main discussion, outside of the designer world, things that you might not know, I'm trying to open your mind and open um, your taste to other things that you might like. So thank you. Don't forget to follow me on my socials, uh, also as a corner on Instagram and I just started TikTok. So follow me on there. If you use TikTok, follow me on Instagram, also as a corner the same name. So for today's video, as you will see in the title below, I am talking about Pure Distance M. This is a beautiful fragrance and it speaks to me so well that I feel like it's going to be so easy for me to describe and talk about. So let's get into it. But before we get into it, I have, I wanted to show these two boys here. Um, this is Pure Distance Black and this is Pure Distance M that I'll be reviewing today. I want to review these two side by side. So, you know, if you've smelled both, let me know what you think. These are the only two leather fragrances from the House of Pure Distance. They're masculine linen offerings and they are so good. Both of them are so good. Um, both of them in the top 10 for me. If you want to hear me talk about this against this, not that they smell alike or anything, but just to bring these two beautiful black bottles into um, focus. Let me know in the comment description. Let me know if you want to hear about Pure Distance Black. So yes, yeah, so Pure Distance M. I've had it for a long time. I used to have this bottle here, which is the original 17.5 ml bottle. And I've had this for almost two years now, if not two years already, but somewhere around that. And I just re-upped on this. Um, yeah, that's another thing. I went a little crazy in July. So watch out for a July haul video as soon as everything comes in. I'm working on that. That should come out in the next couple of weeks. So Pure Distance M, I'm gonna start by reading the marketing brief description, excerpt, whatever you wanna call it, from the Pure Distance um, official website. Pure Distance M is sumptuous, sensuous, and complex, but at the same time, noble and sophisticated. Created in London by Roger Dobb, M is inspired by the stylish comforts of the interior of a classic Aston Martin. Pure Distance M is a leather shipper of classic proportions and with unexpected oriental twist which lends the perfume as an original and modern feel the warm smoothness of the blend is incomparable the composition purrs softly along weaving the leather according to the roadmap of spices woods and resins M with its elegant smoky leather has a hint of excitement and danger which is just how it should be in a fragrance inspired by Bond's car man that is a beautiful lovely write-up and that write-up is pretty accurate they say it's inspired by the inside of an Aston Martin I've never been in an Aston Martin but I don't think this is how it will smell inside an Aston Martin unless you know they're spraying Aston Martins with pure distance M but it's kind of like a concept kind of thing how would the inside of a James Bond car or how would James Bond himself smell? Dangerous but exciting. Let's break down the note profile and then I'll go into the scent. So according to Pure Distance website, it is bergamot, lemon, rose, jasmine, cinnamon, patchouli, mosses, cistus, vetiver, vanilla, leather, and musk. And that's all they have. And Frangantica is a bit different. They have a couple more things that they didn't mention. They have carnation, they have clove in Frangantica. They also have labdanum. For some reason, I believe Frangantica, weirdly enough, is more accurate because I do get the cloves. I do get the labdanum, but I don't know why they didn't mention it on their website, but hey. So basically what this is, it's really a leather shipper. And you need to understand a shipper fragrance to sort of understand this. If you do understand a shipper fragrance, what you want to add to that is, you know, dial down the greenness that you get from the mossy wood, increase the spices by 100%. You know, it's a lot of spices in here. Cinnamon, cloves, the carnation also is a floral spicy fragrance. Uh, the spices are up 
and then it, the greenness is drawn down and then there's the leather you know in the mix of everything it is true definition of a leather shape beautiful classic kind of fragrance so i'm going to give it a spray and then we're going to i'm going to try and guide you on this journey the one thing that i do have that is not so positive about this house is they could do better with your sprayers they're all right but for the prices that you pay they need to do better mm. that's that out. man this is this is what i call this is the most alpha fragrance in my collection this is alpha and no surprise because it's inspired by james bond one of the most classical traditional sort of alpha male figures in fiction in you know society so yeah this fragrance opens up with sweet citruses uh, dry zesty citruses and that strong um, dry uh, woody mossy accord supported by a bunch load of spices so it's spicy zesty sweet and then dry woody accord you get a sweet zesty lemon you can feel the lemon sweetness and then the dryness of the citrus or that's probably the dryness of the um, woody woody facets and then the cinnamon is huge in the spices the cinnamon and the clove it's really balanced that's what i'm trying to think it's really balanced all those three facets the sweet zesty um citrus the dry woody and the spices all three are sort of balanced there's nothing that is more dominating than the others um, you can also get the undertones of the leather at the first spray with the undertones of that vanilla sweetness because the vanilla really plays an important role in sort of making sure the fragrance doesn't get too overbearing and you have rose in the in the mid according to fragrantica rose and i think jasmine i'm not sure one of them but rose and jasmine usually in a fragrance composition helps to cover up the harsh um, top notes that you might get from patchouli, vetiver, um, and all, all other sorts of ingredients. A leather, they don't really have nice top notes, so you put those pretty roses in there to cover them. So by the time everything dries down, you get to the better part of those fragrance notes. This is really dangerous and exciting. The danger comes from that leather darkness, and then it's, su it's, it's supplemented with the excitement that you get from the spices and then the citrus, because the quality of those spices and the quality of the ingredients in general, the, the, the dry woodiness, are so high quality that once you smell it, you know that this is someone who spent a lot of money on their fragrance. And then as it dries down, you maintain that dry mossy um, accord. It is supplemented and surrounded by a leather, by a leather accord. Um, the leather is not a animalic leather. It's a dry leather. It's more like a cured leather, like something that has been, it's not raw. It's not wild. It's like James Bond. The outside is suited and booted, but he still has that dangerous side inside. Think of it like James Bond versus, what's his name from Mission Impossible? Ethan Hunt? Yeah, I think that's it. Ethan Hunt is more like a rugged kind of guy, like aggressive, but James Bond is more calm, sophisticated. And just because of that sort of aura, that sort of effect that I get from the fragrance of warm spices, that when it mingles in a cool air, it gives it this sort of refreshing, relaxing, calming aura. But then when it is balanced against the oak moss, you can still feel some strength and some some punch in the fragrance. So it's it, it is a beautiful balance between dangerous and you know inviting and exciting the one thing i would say about this fragrance like i said it is if it is a fucking alpha fragrance so if you buy this fragrance and you're thinking of a date night fragrance then you need to be you know a guy who likes what he likes and is unapologetic about it and you know it's like hey this is me i'm it's not like it's disgusting or that is hard or challenging if you're a younger guy then it, it might be harder to pull off around younger women in, in you know in general this fragrance is it has because of that traditional shipper accord it has it's a very grown up feel i'm talking about late 30s early 40s that's the kind of person that it's picture perfect for this kind of fragrance but hey again rock what you want regardless of you know how old or i'm just trying to paint a picture of what this comes out you know to me i'm not 40 i'm not late in my late 30s so i still enjoy this fragrance this is a you know a very formal two situations you can wear this actually um would you wear this to the office unless you own the building unless you know again you're the main the top dog you're the alpha guy you can wear this but if you're not someone might come and tell you 
dish of fragrance is too strong or it's too spicy or it's giving me a headache or it's something I don't like it, please go change it. And then that just messes up the whole vibe because this is James Bond. You don't tell James Bond what to do. This fragrance is for that alpha person. You wear this on a date, you know, you're telling your, you're telling the girl, you know, hey, do you like it? Great. You don't like it? Too bad, sorry. Keep moving. But yeah, it's not begging for a 10. It's not begging for, you know, you to like me. That's the kind of fragrance I'm getting. It's not asking her, please like me, you know, come closer to me. You know, it's not begging for it. But if you like it, then, you know, you come to me. It's, it's not going out there trying to draw people in. It's just being on its own. And then whoever likes it comes in. And, you know, if you don't like it, you know, scram, get away. But yeah, that's the kind of idea of this fragrance it performs great i'm talking about on my skin it lasts for eight plus hours i want to say it's getting to 10 more on close the next day it will project for four or five hours which is great for most fragrances um so beautiful projection don't worry about you know the performance um it is strong it's not loud and you know shouting for everyone to come in there but it does give you a nice sillage it leaves a, it leaves a nice trail that's for sure because whenever i spray this uh, and i leave for the day and then i come back you know a couple hours after there's this aroma in the air and it's just so beautiful pure distance and you know really up there and it's one of those you either get it or you don't and it doesn't care if you get it or you don't again like i mentioned this would probably in general appeal to a more older crowd because of the construction of it. it's a shipra fragrance it will also appeal to people who love darker spicier fragrance because the fragrance is very spicy and as it dries down you know you get to the base what i'm mostly getting is still a spicy leather cord with labdanum and i think the uh, the leather cord is built mainly on labdanum because it's very resinous again resin spicy that danger and excitement um with um with a musk it, it doesn't get too musky and it doesn't get too woody i would say it's more like the leather labdanum um sort of scent at the top that is the main player as it dries down a couple hours later and then supported by the the dry woody mossy accord and the, the, the musk that is just giving it that longevity they have been talked that this fragrance smells like another roger Dahl's fragrance fetish i haven't smelled that one and people have said that fetish is more um focused on the leather because that one has castorium and less on the spices and this one and pure distance m is more on the spices both of them done by roger dove paying homage to the original um, fragrance that this is supposed to smell like hermes bellamy which is a vintage fragrance that is discontinued and as roger always does a lot of times he brings back to life uh, vintage classic fragrances that aren't made anymore he brings them back but what he does with these fragrances in, in pure distance m is he takes it up a notch he brings it into a luxury sort of realm you know it, he has the great quality the beautiful blending the smoothness the the je ne sais quoi you know that it, it adds that special touch to a fragrance that might have been made in a period where the ingredients were not as good and the blending techniques um, you know, were not as good it brings that into a modern touch so this is a modern day james bond you know you can see sean connery in this you can see pierce brosnan in this and you can also see daniel craig in this it is you know that you know classic sort of scent and i feel like it's one this is a kind of scent that will be timeless for like the typical traditional sort of definition of an alpha male but anyways thank you for watching the video if you've tried pure distance m i would love to hear your thoughts below a lot of people call this one of the best leather fragrances out there uh, but you know i i feel like it's really up there this is one of the best that you have out there especially if you are sort of the alpha guy so thank you for watching